Alec Baldwin is understandably distraught right now after a horrible accident that took place while filming the movie Rust in Santa Fe, New Mexico. News has just broke that there was actually a live round somehow still in the chamber of the prop weapon. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know right here on IO. Following all of the news about what took place on the set of Rust, Alec Baldwin tweeted out his condolences to the family of Helena Hutchins and said, There are no words to convey my shock and sadness regarding the tragic accident that took the life of Helena Hutchins, a wife, mother, and deeply admired colleague of ours. I'm fully cooperating with the police investigation to address how this tragedy occurred and I am in touch with her husband offering my support to him and his family my heart is broken for her husband their son and all who knew and loved Helena Alec had accidentally taken the life of Helena Hutchins a 42 year old married mother of two and director of photography on the film the single round that was fired from the prop managed to strike both Hutchins and the movie's director 48 year old Joel Souza according to a witness the single bullet struck Helena in the body and then pierced Joel's clavicle Hutchins was then airlifted to the hospital but was later pronounced dead Joel Souza was also rushed to hospital but was later released in the evening. According to the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees Local 44, they claimed in an email that the incident was an accidental weapons discharge, and then went on to say, A live single round was accidentally fired on set by the principal actor, hitting both the director of photography, Local 600 member Helena Hutchins, and director Joel Souza. Local 44 has confirmed that the prop set decorations, special effects, and construction departments were staffed by New Mexico crew members. There were no Local 44 members on the call sheet. That first part, though, is the important part here. They confirmed that it was a live single round. Witness reports also told the press that Baldwin could be heard asking the people around him why he had been handed a hot gun, going on to say, In all my years, I've never been handed a hot gun. And so far, the film's prop master has not been named, but the onus definitely will fall on them to explain why the prop was loaded with a live round. According to the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Department, Alec has been cooperating with them with interviews and was released without being charged. The Local 44 is also shifting the blame towards the staff and crew members that were brought on in New Mexico. With Secretary Treasurer Anthony Pollock saying in an email that no Local 44 members were on the call sheet. The production had employed 73 crew members, 22 principal actors, and 230 background talent all from New Mexico, none of which were part of the union. What's wild here is that actor Jensen Ackles was just speaking about how little training he received before handling a prop weapon on set. He told the conference in Denver that he was able to even choose his own and then received a pretty haphazard training session. One thing is for certain though, the movie industry is most likely going to be making some big changes to how crew is staffed on projects so that incidents like this do not happen again. Perhaps even mandatory training with real professionals as well to avoid making even the slightest mistake. As always though, we would love to hear your thoughts on all this, so don't forget to drop us a comment down below. But for now, I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try.